Hey guys, it's Nathan, and it's finally here. The most requested video since I have started uploading. This is how I mod my stabs. You're obviously going to need your stabilizers, a wire cutter, a pair of scissors, some band-aids, dielectric grease, Teflon grease, and finally, an earwax picker. For the purpose of this video, I will be using GMK screw-in stabilizers, which are my personal preference when building MX style boards. The first thing we'll talk about is lubing and clipping the stabilizer. Why do we clip the stabilizer and what does it mean? As you can see, when bottoming out, the stem extends past the base of the stabilizer. You'll also notice these two things, one in the front and one in the back on opposite sides. As you can imagine, every time you bottom out, those two fangs hit against your PCB, which will not only cause damage over time, but creates noise. Clipping is the process of removing those two fangs, so that it not only increases the longevity of your PCB, but removes that unwanted noise. First, we begin by disassembling the stabilizer. This is just a matter of twisting and pulling out. Remove the stems from the stabilizer. Next, take one of the stems. Notice that two of the four legs have those fangs mentioned earlier. Grab your wire cutter and clip those legs off. That's it. That's how you clip your stabilizers. Do the same for the other one. Next up, we're going to use the Teflon grease. I apply this to anywhere where plastic touches plastic. I apply a small amount to the inside of the stabilizer on both sides of the housing, like so. I apply a moderate amount. Once that's done, assemble the stabilizer back together. If you don't know how to assemble it, notice that on the stem, there is one side with two holes and one side with one hole. The one side with one hole is the part that goes to the back of the stabilizer. The front being where the wire sticks up from. So the wire goes here, which means the once hole sided goes in the back. Next up, we use the dielectric grease. Take your wire and begin by sticking it into your grease, like so. Recall that when we reassembled the stabilizer, the side with two holes faces the front where the wire goes into. I first apply one coating of this dielectric grease by sticking the wire into the bottom of the holes, which is where the wire goes into. I then go for a second coating, this time making sure to go a little bit past that 90 degree mark. And then we put it back into that bottom hole where we applied the coating and you snap it back into place. Repeat for the other side. Once you are finished, you should have dielectric grease inside the stabilizer as well as up to the point where the wire snaps back into place. You can take a tissue and remove any excess grease that you do not want. The main source of noise for stabilizers comes from the fact that the wire rattles inside the stem. By filling it up with dielectric grease, we produce this kind of effect. Here we have an unlubed and unclipped stabilizer. Here we have the stabilizer that we just lubed and clipped. There's a big difference. The last thing left to do is to perform the band-aid mod. For this, you will need band-aids that are made of fabric. Grab one of the band-aids and cut off the rounded edge.
What we're going to do is cut off rectangles from this band-aid that are long enough to fill the areas where the stabilizers will rest. Like so. Peel the band-aid and apply it to where the stabilizer will rest. Make sure that the band-aid is wide enough to cover the entire stabilizer. Next, take your earwax picker and your dielectric grease again. Apply a generous amount and spread across the band-aid. You want to spread just enough that the band-aid changes color. You don't want too much grease sitting on the band-aid. And that's it. That's the band-aid mod. Perform this to all the areas where your stabilizer will sit. So now after band-aid modding, lubing, and clipping, here is what the difference sounds like. This is unlube. And this is lubed, clipped, and band-aid modded. And that's it folks. That's how you lube, clip, and band-aid mod your stabilizers to make them rattle free and quiet. This is something I do to all my stabilizers whenever applicable. For Topra and Alps, there may not be clipping involved, but the same general rule for lubing applies. Whenever plastic touches plastic, I use Teflon grease. And whenever plastic touches metal, I use dielectric grease. I hope you guys found this video informative. If you guys liked what you saw, make sure to like this video and subscribe. I've also started an Instagram channel where I post some behind the scenes and pictures. So make sure to follow that as well. Well, that's it for this video and see you guys in the next one.